Okay, everyone, in this video, we're going to look at roofs. And uh, specifically in this video, we're going to look at gable roofs. So this is where you have your walls of your house come up to a peak um, at the top of the roof. And the roof kind of has two slopes to it. So it's like a, uh, a triangle if you look at it from the side. More traditional type of look. Um, the, your two major options are the gable roof and the hip roof, which we're looking at in a separate video. Okay, so for the gable roof, we can start drawing that on our first floor floor plan. Actually, scratch that. We're going to do it on the top of plate floor plan. So I'm going to double click TOP and draw on there. And to do the roof, use the roof command. And we want to use the pick walls tool to create our roof. Now we have to think about which walls we're picking and whether the roof that meets those walls has a slope on it or not. Okay. So if we look at our 3D model, we can see that the front walls of the house, if this is the front, and it would be because it's got a front door, um, they slope down or the roof slopes down to those walls. And the same thing on the back of the house. Okay, the roof slopes down to the back wall. So when we're working on a roof plan over here, um, we're going to go with um, pick walls, and we're going to pick walls that get the slope first. And then we can come back and pick the other walls, like the side walls that don't have the roof sloping down to them. Uh, so we're going to click here, define slope. That means the roof that we're putting in now or the walls that we're picking for the roof, we'll have the roof slope down to them. Okay, so here's the back of the house. I'm gonna click that wall. And now we're gonna come up to the front of the house and pick all of the front walls of the house. Okay, now that I have those picked, we're going to uncheck the defined slope box and pick our other walls, so our side walls. And now what you might have noticed over here is we have a bit of an issue. So we're going to get out of the wall picker command. We've got, we're going to hit escape twice to do that. And this line is sitting inside the wall of the house right now. So I'm going to click it and I can use the flip direction arrows just to move it to the outside of the house. Now I've got a closed in perimeter loop for my roof plan. Looks good. I can click the green check to create that. Okay. And we'll see what that looks like. Um, in the 3D view. So now you can see we've got our gable roof, but there's, well, a few issues. Uh, we've got some big, huge holes here that we need to fill in. So to start doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this end wall. And we want this wall to continue up right into the roof. Um, so that it looks, well, it looks like it's closed in. Uh, so to do that, we're going to pre-select the wall and we're going to click this button, attach top face. Once we click that, we're going to click on the roof. Okay. So the wall now extends up into the roof. Um, we can continue doing that on our side walls. Uh, so to carry on with that, we can click this wall, click the attach top face tool, click on the roof. And now this wall comes up to the roof line. Okay, so, so far, so good. If we orbit around, we can see we've got a bit of an issue with this piece of roof right here. It doesn't come in all the way to this wall. So there's a gap right here where my cursor is running. And we need to extend this roof back so it touches this wall. To do that, we can click on the roof. And this icon here is the join unjoin roof. So we're going to click that. And it's asking us to select an edge of the roof that we want to join. So we have that selected. Now we're going to click on the wall that we want that roof to extend back to. Okay. If we zoom out and orbit around a little bit. We can make sure it did what we think it did. And it looks like we're good there. Um, the final gap, at least in this area that we need to fill in, is right here. So we have an area where we're actually missing some wall 
And to fill that in, we're going to have to edit this wall. Now, we don't want to go to the floor plan and adjust it because then we would end up, if we look at this, we would end up running the wall right through this um, great room or living room area. Um, we clearly don't want that. So we're going to edit the profile of the wall. To do that, we're going to go back to 3D. We're going to click this wall, pre-select it, and we're going to use this tool called Edit Profile. When I click that, it gives me a warning um, dialog saying Revit's going to remove top and base attachments prior to editing the profile of the wall. That's fine. I'm going to close that. And you can see we've got the purple lines that are the profile of our wall as it is right now. I want to look straight on at this, so I'm going to go to my view cube. I'm going to click the right view. So I'm looking right at that box. There's my wall. And I'm going to add some lines. So the area that's open that we need to close in, we're going to do that. So we're going to draw lines kind of right uh, down the center of the existing roof line. So you can see where it's previewing that line. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to hit Escape. And I'm going to start another line from this corner of the wall. What I'm looking for as I come up is that my line is parallel to this roof line. Okay. You see those two vertical um, lines, the purple ones, right where my cursor is? That's what I'm looking for, that it's parallel. Once I have that, I can work towards closing in this shape. And... And I can hit escape. Presumably, these two lines are touching each other. I'm going to zoom in and verify that. And it looks like they are. Uh, what I need to do before I can, say, go ahead and make this profile is I need to make it just one closed-in box. And as you can see right now, it's actually two. So there's this divider line. I'm going to click on that line. I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard just to get rid of it. Now, when I hit the green check mark, I will get a dialog box telling me there's an error. But if I click this button, Unjoin Elements, that should accept and resolve the error so that when I click over here, just an open space, uh, and orbit around, I can see that now I have my roof coming back and it's touching this wall. And I also have extended this wall, if you will, uh, to follow the roof lines, the two separate roof lines, and close in that area. Okay, so that's the strategy you can use to create a gable roof for um, a house that's something other than just a rectangle or a square. Um, if you do have some protrusions and some bump outs in the side of the house, you can use these strategies to fill in the gaps that, that you end up with. Okay, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.